Hello, welcome to Painting with Cat Rambles Edition. The, no. There's a rambunctious studio dog who is not allowed in the studio, so she's just staring at me from outside the door because I had some dog toys in here that were Christmas presents for her dog friends, and she snuck in and very, very quietly pulled them all out of the bag and then chewed their noses off. So she's in a little bit of trouble. Because usually she is loud, but when she's doing bad things, she's very, very quiet. But she's got plenty of toys and stuff out there. I gave her a rawhide too, but she's probably gonna be running around from time to time to give me the side eye. So if you hear panting and snorting and sneezing, it is not me. <laughs> it's my it's my pup. Oh, now she has a squeaky toy. That's great. <laughs> I just finished. Let me see how big it is. Let me measure it. Oh, I don't know where my measuring tape is. I just moved. So it's a little bit wild in here. Um, let's see. Okay, I think, I think it's a 36 by 24, which for me is pretty big. And I started it a couple years ago, got about halfway done, and then got completely stuck. And with things like that, if I try to push through it, sometimes it just ruins it. So I just have to walk away. And then a couple weeks ago, I just looked at it and thought, it's time, it's time to finish it. So I just finished that one and that was great. I think I, I paint a lot of things where I have the idea in my head, but sometimes I don't always have the skill set to make it happen. And it's hard to be patient, but I'll get started on a project, hit a wall, and then sometimes I just gotta wait. Wait for the skills to build before I can return to it. And then now I'm working on, oh shoot, what is this? It's about twice the size of that. Um, it's like, It's big. Um, <laughs> it's big. I've been enjoying painting bigger. That's what I'm working on right now. I'm about ooh, a fourth of the way done. I used to just kind of paint away and see if it came together, but I plan it out a lot more now. I think because I know what I want. So now I work from background to foreground. That works pretty well. I'm going to clean off my filthy palette because I, I did not clean it earlier as I should have. And I know it's going to be pretty echoey in here. But we will work with it. the amount of people I talk to who say that painting was their dream and they had to give it up and they wish that they could paint like I do and it's just so sad to hear because I'm really grateful that my life's passion is painting because I don't need a lot of space I don't need a ton of supplies it's very easy for me to do and to execute. There are definitely times when I would like more space, but it's just, it's really easy for me to, to do it. So when people tell me that they just had, had to give it up and I know people have their reasons, but it always makes me really sad because I think there's gotta be some way you could do it. And I'm not saying you can make a lot of money doing it. That's definitely, I don't think anyone, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. I guess in my mind, no one gets into art for the money because those two things aren't really synonymous. <laughs> but if you love it, 
you can make it happen. I think if you wanted to be an artist and make money, that would definitely come with a lot more hurdles. But if you just want to paint, you can paint. I saw a video when I was younger of a woman who was a paraplegic. She was paralyzed, so she had to hold the paintbrush in her mouth and paint that way. That always really stuck with me. <laughs> Hey, Snuffly. You were naughty. Naughty pups. Naughty pups. Get your ball. Good girl. Hmm, all right, making color decisions. There's some kind of a vehicle outside my window. Just recorded quiet audio, thank goodness. My new neighbors are much quieter than my previous neighbors, which is nice. My previous neighbors, they loved music. Um, and I, I love music, but just constant music makes it tough to record. Alright, so I got pink background. I'm gonna put gray over that, but it's a warm gray. Mm -hmm. I have been up paddle boarding, which is so fun. I don't actually stand on it like you are supposed to, but I do enjoy paddling to the middle of the lake. I haven't been brave enough to take it on a river. But I'll paddle in the middle of the lake and then just lay there. Sometimes I actually bring a sketchbook or I'll paint. I haven't read a book yet. It's usually too bright for that. I mostly like to just lay there and look up at the clouds. What are you doing, Munchkin? What are you doing? Get. As far as audio news, Audio news with cat. <sighs> that was a glove. If you were wondering what that strange sound was, if you're working with oil paint, use gloves because you don't want that on your skin. Audio stuff. I'm at a bit of a standstill as far as episodes of series. I'll, usually the first few episodes will just be me and then when I need guest voices, uh, it can be a bit of a bottleneck. People have been busy. Some people have been sick, which is really sad. And, uh, you know, it's summer, so they're out enjoying that, which is wonderful. So I've just been waiting a little bit longer to get audio back. And then the audio back that I did get um, is the next episode after something I still need. Stuff like that, so we'll get back into those. Um, as I said before, every series I start will be finished. I'll never leave something unfinished. Uh, and I'm trying not to just dump a bunch of pilots on you guys. Because um, most episodes, the first episode is just me, so I can get them recorded. But I don't want to, oh, I don't want to just keep starting series for you guys and then make you wait forever. Speaking of which, uh, if you're on Patreon, the Mer Creature series has started, and that is um, where well, I just uploaded. Well, I'm just uploading episode three today. So if you want to jump on that early, you can. But I'm waiting to release that just because, yeah, I don't want just I don't want so many half series out there. Even though sometimes that's how it goes. move the mic over to my palette but there isn't really anywhere for it to go I just have uh, a lot of boxes around and not much furniture hmm Let's see I want this to be kind of a warm purpley I feel like my biggest hurdle when I'm painting is to not let things turn green <laughs> Everything wants to turn green. I love green, but in the appropriate places. 
and a lot of green leaning blues. Put this right here. Some Payne's Gray, which is my favorite oil color. I can't wait for it to get cold, and I know when I say that, it makes some people upset. But I love, I love decorating for winter. It's my favorite. I have many Christmas trees. I don't do a lot of decor as far as lights and garlands and like snowmen or little figures or things like that. But I love, I, I guess mostly undecorated Christmas trees. I like to put them all over where I'm living so that it's just like a giant nightlight, I guess. It's very calm and peaceful. And then Netflix has a, a fireplace video that you can put on and it's just a video of a, a fireplace with the crackling sounds. And I love, I love falling asleep to that. How do I make this gray? Do, do, do. If you are painting and it gets too green, you just add a little red. It will mellow it out. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, I did it. I did it. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy to make progress on this one. This one. Ah, it's not the biggest one I've painted, but it can be intimidating because the bigger it is for the way I paint, um, the bigger it is, the longer it takes. And when months go by, as this one did, it can feel like it's never ending. So it's fun to jump back in now that I finally have more time to paint and I'm just not moving all my stuff. So if you look out outside, Things in the distance often will look kind of hazy and light and blue. And then as it gets closer to you, it will be brighter and crisper and more yellow leaning. So I'm doing some far away blue, hazy suggestions of objects. You tend to want to be kind of blurry and Suggestive, not suggestive in the fun way, but just suggestive like with shapes and stuff. Just loose and sloppy. Because then when you get closer, it's gonna pull focus towards the front where you usually, that's your focal point where you want people to be looking. It's a little too gray. Well, I tend to go way overboard on the vibrance of my colors and all my professors said it's too vibrant, it's too saturated, we hate it basically, um, but I, I like it, so, so there, so I still do it. <laughs> I tried painting the way they told me and it's good to listen to people and learn, but then you can decide what you like. Do you have any desire to get into a hot air balloon? And if so, why? What is it about that that is enticing? I've always, always wondered. I like trying new things. I'm not really afraid of high up heights, but I've just never wanted to get into a wicker basket and just kind of float away. <laughs> way up in the sky also let me know if you have ridden in one what was that like because I wonder if is it pretty calm is it windy is it loud is it silent all right stepping back to get a better view hmm. I'm gonna need to wash this out more I went too dark with it. 
and I want it to disappear. Disappear into the background. One thing I love about paint that you can't do with things like wood is if you mess it up, you just go back over it. I think metal is a little more forgiving, but wood, if you cut it too short, you get it wrong, you're kind of in trouble. With paint, you can just paint over it. And it'll be okay. Oh yeah, that's better. Much better. Grayish blue. I, re I like really glomming on paint. Big doo bitty globs. Glibber globs. I'm really hungry. I, I ate all the chicken nuggies. Probably have one of my favorite meals is an egg on rice with some green chili sauce over it. So good. Bonus if you put some avocado on it. Yum. I haven't been cooking very much lately because I haven't been home a whole lot. I've been eating a lot of sandwiches and some soup and toast. <laughs> I love toast. But I haven't made a real dinner in a while. When I was uh, moving and cleaning up my pantry and my cupboards and stuff, I found so much spaghetti. I have five boxes of spaghetti and I've bought spaghetti, I've had people give me spaghetti, I've had roommates leave spaghetti and I just amass so much of it. So I've been trying to, to eat more of it and I've been looking up casserole ideas that you can do with spaghetti. You can uh, make spaghetti, spaghetti casserole. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really good. I love going online and seeing what creative things people are doing and have done. Especially with cooking, because, I don't know, for me, it's so difficult. It's really tricky. I don't really have any cooking instincts, and I can follow a recipe, but some people will make their own recipe, or just throw something together, and I don't know how they do it. We got the Deja Vu song stuck in my head. Do you get Deja Vu? Okay, some over here. Fabulous, beautiful, marvelous. Wonderful. It's looking great, guys. Do great. I wonder if you can hear the brush sounds. Try not to wake up those of you who are sleeping. Schlafen Sie. Um, put this here. I love Spotify because they have the wildest stuff. I, I go to sleep with music or audios. Kind of depends. Sometimes a mix of both. But Spotify, there's a an album I used to listen to when I was little of lullabies and I found it on Spotify and I hadn't heard it since I was oh, maybe five, you know, a while ago. So it was, man, that was really fun. That was really fun to hear. Put me right to sleep. My brain just remembered, remembered what it was like to be asleep. When you're a kid, you don't have to get up and go to work the next day. It looks kind of weird now, but this is that awkward stage. 
the awkward stage you have to push through. So it's good. This is exactly where we need to head. and putting away this weekend. Put some things away. I love moving though. It's super, super tiring, but it's such a fresh start and I just, I love that. I think it's really fun. And I will occasionally help people move. I, I never ask people to help me move. It is very important to ask help when you need help, but for me, it's just really important to me that I move my own stuff because I, I really try to declutter and not keep more things that I'll use. So when I move, I have to look at everything and decide with my own hands, do I really want to haul this somewhere else? Can someone else use it? Okay, so now I have a decision to make. Blue and orange are opposites on the cuddle, color wheel. The cuddle wheel. Oh, imagine. That was loud. This is the AC machine outside. Imagine a cuddle wheel. So cute. Where opposites attract. <laughs> Where opposites complement each other. Oh, so cute. I got a lot of blue in the background. Too much. So I need some contrast. So... Oh, I'm gonna go go with some yellow. Yellow's really good. Close to orange. Good to have in the background. I actually do love yellow quite a bit. I was going through my closet once and I realized I had some very bright yellow pants and a very bright yellow shirt and they were the exact same type of yellow. They matched perfectly. So I wore them to work one day and it, it looked like a, almost like I was wearing a jumpsuit. It was really fun. I thought it was pretty funny. I just looked like a big banana and a lot of people commented on it and said, did you mean to do that? Absolutely. The way I feel about outfits is if I put it on and no one questions it, what am I doing? You know, you should make people a little a little confused and a little concerned and that's the sweet spot <laughs> be comfortable and a little weird maybe a little out of season or ahead of season that's kind of fun i have definitely accidentally um i do wear a lot of socks i like knee socks i have actually right now i have some stripy ones on i just think they're so cute so i'll wear shorts and then high socks and I started wearing those and now they're in style so that was kind of funny because I accidentally stumbled on being in style which only happens a handful of years when things come around. I'm also wearing stripy shorts. I call them my circus tent shorts because they're they're pretty fun. Pretty fun. Alright, get this yellow. Do, 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 do. Mm. Man, it's so hard for me to tone it down. It's so difficult. I just want to tone it up. Tone it up. But even for me, there is a point when I'm painting it. Oh, it can reach levels where I can barely look at it. And then I just know I've gone too far. Yeah, so my yellow is too yellow. I want to chill it out a little, so I'm going to add some purple. Purple is the opposite of yellow on the cuddle wheel. <laughs> so that will make it a little more gray, a little less bright. That was way too much, and now it's just purple. Mm. That was a mistake, but we'll get back. So now I add a little more. Yellow, what is the back and forth? I wish cooking was like that. I wish there was a handful of rules. And you could just go back and forth until... See, I already fixed it. I just added in a little more yellow and it balanced it out. Okay, oh, this is perfect. <gasps> yes, yes. Okay, now this needs to be lighter. <sighs> I got all my Christmas shopping done 
let me tell you guys something. If you notice, prices go up pretty much as soon as summer's over and fall gets here. Prices start to go up on things and uh, for example in Amazon if you have something in your cart it will show you how much the price has gone up. I don't know why it does that. It seems like a bad move on their part but it will show you. So I noticed that around I guess the end of August prices started to go up and I mean twice as expensive. I have many things double that I had been looking at to buy. So I'm gonna all my Christmas shopping done by, well, usually it's by August, but um, it's the end of July and I just finished, yes. You will save so much money and you don't have to deal with the shipping headache nonsense of things getting stuck and not arriving because you already have them and they're all wrapped and ready. I buy them and then they ship here and I wrap them and just put them in a box and just wait till Christmas. But yeah, Christmas shopping done. And they don't just stress, stress about it. I, I definitely will buy stocking stuffers when the holidays get closer. So I'm not buying snacks and them going stale or anything like that. But um, most of it is done. I'm so sorry if you're holding on to summer that I'm already talking about <laughs> the holidays, but I love it. I love the food, I love the lights, and I can't wait. And, you know, since I've been doing Christmas shopping, it's been kind of on my mind lately. Okay, this is looking great. Ooh. You gotta trust the process, it can be scary, but you gotta trust it. It will lead you through. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this one's looking so cool. I just wanna jump in and chill there for a bit. But it's under construction, so you can't do that. Let me add to the bones. I didn't have a lot of talking points with this one. I know that's what a ramble is. Sometimes I like to plan it out a little, but because if I don't, I'll just end up talking about Christmas. So, um, but it's nice to just get some painting done, talk to you guys. I hope you're doing okay, and if you're not, I hope you feel better soon. Because you know sometimes you don't feel okay, and that's okay. You don't have to be doing well all the time. You can have bad days or weeks. This looks like Frankenstein now, which is not what I was going for. Oops. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> it was going so well. This is the point I can tell. Uh, sometimes I just need to stop. Uh, I work on a lot of paintings at once because I'll get to a point where I don't know where to go next and then I start making bad and frantic choices and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna stop and move to a different one and then tomorrow I'll come back fresh and see it with new eyes. I'm also gonna play with my pup because she's being really good. She's staring at me, talking about you. Hi little pups. Oh, hi. Oh, you're wagging your tail. Such a good girl, yeah. She's, um, she's one of those dogs that's so ugly, they're cute. I love that. All right, um, if you were sleeping, sweet dreams. And if you're not, you should probably go do your homework or um, eat something, maybe both. If you're set, then I just hope you have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye.